Strange as it seems, the most powerful pirate in history was a woman. While legendary buccaneers like Captain Kidd, Blackbeard, and Bartholomew Roberts led mostly single ships to prey on merchant vessels, Si Kai, or Madam Ching as she came to be known, prowled the South China Sea leading a fleet of over a thousand. The pirates of the Caribbean and Atlantic struck terror by lurking and hiding and attacking with stealth. Once cornered, most died fighting or lived to twist in a hangman's noose. Sea Kai openly challenged the combined navies of Britain, Portugal, and China and withdrew from piracy unconquered and unbowed. It was the beginning of the 19th century in South China. Canton Harbor was rapidly becoming one of the world's great trading ports. Plucked from a flower boat, as the floating brothels were called, Si Kai lay bound at the feet of Cheng Yi, a powerful Chinese pirate in search of a wife. Captivated by her beauty, he released her to examine her more closely. When she attacked him, nearly clawing his eyes out, he fell madly in love with her, as much for her spirit as her beauty, and asked her to marry him of her own free will. Though only a slave, she demanded command of a share of his fleet and to keep all the treasure she plundered. He remarkably agreed, and soon Madam Ching, the pirate queen, was capturing the lion's share of treasure. Just as he wondered how his wife had become his rival, Ching Yi drowned in a typhoon. When his captains held counsel to choose his successor, Madam Ching materialized, wearing the helmet and armor of her late husband. Staring down all contenders, she seized command. In the three years to come, she stepped up attacks and swelled her ranks into a navy more powerful than all but a handful of the world's greatest powers. Finally, the Chinese, British, and Portuguese joined forces to finish her reign of terror. Fearing the carnage of a battle of thousands of ships, the Chinese emperor took a different tack, offering amnesty and the right to keep her treasure. If there is anything of a woman's heart in you, he implored, you will someday want peace and offspring. Could it be now? Madam Ching wisely took the emperor up on his offer and retired to live another 30 years wealthy and peaceful. The most successful and prettiest pirate in history. Strange as it seems.